Hey Ruvain, just wanted to show you around the bike, show you how to take it apart and so on and so forth. This is what it looks like. So you can see that the, the shock on it is a, a customary um, mountain bike shock. So it's gonna be a lot more stable when you go down the mountain. Um, if I go ahead and sit on it, you know, I'm 270 pounds and you can see it doesn't bounce anywhere near as much as that Brenter would bounce. Um, the handlebars, so they're just a, a normal handlebar or a uh, mountain bike. So you can loosen these bolts right here with an Allen wrench and you have about that much room that you can move it up and down based on your size. Um, I like to have them up a little bit higher, but it's, uh, it's totally up to your purview Two, um, take the skis off. And I'm going to show you that first. Um, all you do is just flip the bike over and um, put it on its handlebars. And then right here underneath, you see that black um screw that you can uh, tighten with your hands and that's how the skis come off so i'm going to go ahead and do that so you can see that i'm just unscrewing this thing and then the ski comes straight off of it and then it just looks like that so you can store the skis separately or however you want to do it. And then the back one's the exact same way. And you can see that it just pops right off here. And you can just store it right over here. You can see the, the width of the skis is not as much as some of the ski bikes. The ski bikes use those width of the skis for um, more for balance when you're standing up on it. These are going to be a lot easier to use um, based on the width of these skis um, because it's easier to carve on um, the regular, you know, groomed slopes and such. So the other piece that you need to know is when you when it gets shipped to you that your this front end is probably not going to be on it so that's with the handlebars and this thing right there i'm gonna just set that right here and th that's just taken off by taking an allen wrench here and just loosening these front pieces just like that i mean i, I had already pre-loosened it so it doesn't come off normally that easy and then, and then you can just slide this piece right here up. You see that outside of the frame, just like that. And then lift the frame off, just like so. So that the, the handlebar stuff or piece or the front end is now separated so you can see on the top of this frame there's a hole this piece right here goes in that hole and then on the bottom there's the same thing Back this up see that hole and this piece right here this white piece just slides into there and then you'll tighten up this um this bracket right here on the top which keeps it from coming off all right, and just to kind of show you around the the bike, the foot pegs are right here, so you can see the size of the foot pegs. You, you will be able to ride this bike without skis on your feet, or you can put skis on your feet and use the foot pegs also. So that's kind of the way to do it. I might have to take off the foot pegs off the bike to ship it. So that also is just an Allen bolt. So they just pop off and pop right back on. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Otherwise, it's 
it's essentially the same as that C6. It's just going to be a little bit more stable is all it is. All right. So I'll send this to you and let you take a look at it. All right. We'll talk to you. Bye.